Hello, this is Mary Dixon, and the theme of my playlist is how we move through the effective domain to our civic duty to vote. I am going to be initiating some lesson plans oriented around our national campaign for president coming up or going on right now, and of course, the vote on November 4th. Uh, I'm going to cover some of the process of the Electoral College and um, just go through the whole process with my fourth grade students and talk to them about uh, the importance of voting. Um, is it a duty? Is it a privilege? Is it a right? Is it all three? I personally believe it is. Um, and as it relates to the effective domain, the taxonomy of the, of the effective domain, uh, number one, receiving. I'm going to present the concept to students and we're going to talk about it. Um, talk about the concept and its importance um, and how we might want to respond to it. Uh, well, number two is responding. Um, how, how do we respond to it? Is it, uh, is it an, a process, an ideal? an activity that we're going to implement in our own daily lives? Is it uh, something that needs to be part of our personal makeup and um, what is important to us individually? And once we've done that, do we demonstrate number three, valuing the duty to vote by acting upon it and voting? Um, I personally believe it's the responsibility of all Americans to vote. I don't believe it should be forced upon people and that people should be chastised for not voting. I just think it's unfortunate if uh, American citizens don't take advantage of that right, a right that veterans throughout the many wars and years have sacrificed much, including their lives many times from the beginning, the inception of our country. Um, number four, organization, that this particular level in the taxonomy, um, uh, an individual might demonstrate this aspect by canvassing their neighborhood and speaking to neighbors and, and whomever they come across and encouraging them to vote and passing out flyers and and just promoting voting and its importance um, and number five characterization by value does it become a part of your personal credo your personal philosophy it's a committed value in your life that that uh, is part of your personal makeup and part of you, your those part of those things that you hold and honor dearly. Um, as I was looking, as I was putting together my playlist, um, I have five in my playlist right now, five or six, and I'm not entirely satisfied with the selection. I'm going to keep looking. Um, I have noticed that um, there's a lot of really negative, hateful speech in a lot of the videos I see. So it's hard to find something that's going to be positive and uplifting and inspiring to my students. That's what I want to do. I want to inspire them to desire their vote that's coming their way when they become 18 and be excited about it and want to be a participatory citizen in this country and look upon it as their civic duty to vote um, and it's been said many times but I think it's entirely true that if you don't vote you have no right to complain about the results of you know any kind of um, consequence of whoever gets into office because you had your opportunity. You may think it doesn't make a great deal of difference, but you know, one multiplied by however many can make a real significant difference. If too many people took that attitude, you know, where would we be? Um, 
but as I stated before there's a lot of uh, negative hateful invective out there from both from all parties independent uh, Republican Democrat um, the goal seems to be um, bring that other party down in whatever means possible and it's just it's it's really it's really sad and it's lowered the process I believe in my opinion um, I can remember a time growing up when when you could be whatever party you happen to be but you still perceived yourself and others as loyal Americans and you could have differences on from coming from your different platforms but you still had a you still honored the other person and their views and could could disagree um, fairly you know have heated arguments but you didn't take it personally and you didn't mean it personally towards the other person so I'm going to continue to uh, look for some videos and I hope to find a few more uh, that will be uplifting to my students and um, be a better hopefully a little more a better example to them um, of inspiration and, and, and to inspire them to uh, become and look forward to being voters someday thank you